Uh, I'm happy to open our digital transformation in real estate summit. A um, few words about myself and about uh, company, just to introduce myself. Uh, I am a CTO and co-founder of Glorium Technologies. Uh, Glorium Technologies by itself uh, is a technology company. We provide custom software solutions for uh, different domains. Uh, two major domains that we cover is uh, healthcare and obviously real estate. Now, what to expect from this summit? Uh, well, for many years, uh, Glorium uh, has been helping to develop digital product for real estate technology companies. And we as a company uh, are right in the middle of the technological transformation, uh, witnessing success, failures, emerging trends, promising but not mature technologies, and so on, so on. Uh, on top of this, Glorium uh, helps with product management, compliance, certification. We also do some business consulting and even provide some bridge investment. So uh, all this exposes us to multiple sources of information and actually multiple, I guess, angles of view uh, on the real estate market. And we want to share uh, all this knowledge and we want to actually promote other players to do the same. And today, with the help of our speakers, we will cover some of these topics. Not all, some um, time constraints. Uh, we, uh, we do conduct such summits regularly, so stay tuned for future events and for, and for more knowledge sharing. Um, uh, before I give the stage to our wonderful speakers, let me share with you a couple of my thoughts on where uh, PropTech uh, is now. Uh, well, first of all, majority of our clients are startups, and um, I guess funding is the one of the topics that always uh, running around, at least in our uh, viewpoint. A gloomy picture of the past six months didn't change a lot and we all know about uh, global drop in the funding and uh, technical layoffs but uh, prop techs expert they also expect that uh, new startups in this year 2023 uh, will be target for the consolidation uh, i don't know through the mergers through the acquisition uh, maybe take over from some uh, traditional real estate firms or just simply fold under the big pressure that we have right now in the market. Uh, startup founders, I mean, they probably will have to deal with some, uh, I don't know, I guess pivoting away from the growth only model and investor will actually investors will be a little bit leery to inflated of inflated values in the first half of the year but we will see how it goes at the same time uh, the market prediction paints absolutely different picture uh, consensus is nine i believe 9.7 annual growth uh, over the next five years, bringing the global real estate software market to about uh, $19 billion uh, in 2028. Uh, a bit, uh, I guess, contradicting trend, but in my opinion, uh, the market of real estate is very resilient and we clearly see it's growing and setbacks are temporarily. Big investors are just around the corner, I guess, waiting for the right timing. Now, uh, big trends, obviously, the trends that we see and we witness ourselves from our side and other people who we talk to. Uh, virtual reality, uh, it's not a new trend, obviously, pandemic. Uh, pandemic did show its benefits and it seems like it proved to have major benefits over traditional property showing and it still demonstrates in potential in the future. And we expect that uh, further... Uh, no more deeper use of VR and AR in real estate. Uh, it's going to continue to expanding, and especially among the investors. So that's one of the topics. Um, artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence enhanced analytics. Um, the development of artificial intelligence. Uh, well, I mean, it's not new. Also, I guess either. Uh, it's been here for decades, and I think it actually in real estate also you can say in decades, but not very deeply, just uh, maybe a few prototypes, a uh, few changes. Uh, but there is a new actually emerging trend 
and it's actually very specific for 2023 and behind. Uh, it's a quantum computing artificial intelligence uh, because this specific approach is very useful for the big data analysis and which is a very typical for the real estate. And uh, there is actually the forecast that state that in the next uh, three to four years, uh, the quantum artificial intelligence, I'm emphasizing not just artificial intelligence, but quantum artificial intelligence will grow from uh, 400 million to about uh, 1.5 million, uh, to, I'm sorry, 1.5 to billion dollars in 2026. And, uh, um, we think that it's just a tip of the iceberg because, um, because, because it's utilization, uh, we still don't know how to utilize it fully. There are new technologies coming, uh, there are new limitations coming, and uh, market is still learning how to use it properly and how not to use it improperly. So we will see a lot of changes in the next few years. Uh, the next trend is, uh, well, it's kind of old also. It's a streamlining of all processes. I mean, well, real estate market is traditionally a bit, uh, uh, I don't know, conservative. And uh, real estate is still catching up in automation of many tedious day-to-day uh, -day responsibilities. So uh, boom is ahead. It's not behind like for some uh, industries. So that's, that's going to be trending as well. Uh, metaverse. Uh, well, there are some seed, there were some setbacks in this area, but at the same time, uh, the market is growing. Prediction is actually pointing that market is going to be growing even further. Uh, right now, it's a uh, virtual real estate valuation is about 800 million, and it's expected to grow up to 6 billion by 2028. So it's a, just a ridiculous number. I mean, frankly, I don't understand it, but well, it's a market who is driving, not myself. Um, and uh, another thing I just couldn't resist, I know that the next speaker actually will be talking more about this. Um, well, I mean, uh, a lot of new artificial intelligence tool, uh, tools are popping up. Uh, and uh, I wanted to double check if my uh, introduction actually correlate with reality, even so I'm pretty sure in, in the information I provided, I did uh, pretty deep analysis. I actually asked chat uh, uh, GTP to provide me five uh, leading trends in the real estate software development. And I was, uh, well, I'm not sure if it's a surprise, it, it's kind of confirmed it. It gave me the following five points. Uh, virtual and augmented reality, as I covered it. Increased use of artificial intelligence and machine learning for property evaluation. Um, artificial intelligence, well, it just says artificial intelligence. I mean, well, it's kind of old. I mean, as I said, it's uh, already quantum artificial intelligence is coming as a trend, but still uh, almost right on spot. Blockchain, uh, well, you can argue blockchain is kind of phasing out, or maybe phasing in. I, I guess industry kind of lost in the blockchain how to use it and maybe not to use it. It's still there, but I think it's already not trend. It's almost standard for some approaches, for some solution at this moment. So you can say it's not a trend anymore. It just must have. Uh, smart home technology, I think it's a little bit old. Uh, predictive uh, analytics and big data for batch marketing insight and forecasting. That's actually, oh, and uh, machine learning will be using, uh, will be used to analyze large data sets from variety of real estate sources, blah, blah, blah. So that's actually is kind of correlated with my artificial intelligence using the quantum computer, so big data. So it was... ChatGPT was almost right on the spot with some deviation, and I will obviously there are different interpretations. So uh, I would say it's pretty it's pretty good. Um, eight out of ten, I would say, for the just emerging technology, taking into account it's going to be developing first and it's not matured at all. Uh, but again, uh, next speaker will be covering this in more details, and I hope he will provide more insights for you. Uh, and I really hope that uh, all other our wonderful speakers will be able to make a much more detailed and precise outlook, uh, as well as maybe explain other related things. And um, 
I'm really excited to hear what they prepared for us. So let's begin. Awesome. Thank you, Dimitri. Appreciate what you and the rest of the team do. I'm excited to, to bring on our first speaker. So um, real estate, you know, it's, it's an interesting topic given that it's been around for so long, but I feel like the technology has not. Well, we'll see. 